This is a tutorial how to paint a sunset with a silhouette of palm trees in front of it. So here's kind of a high key example and a brighter example. We haven't removed the tape yet. I like to do a taped border in the beginning just because it kind of brings everything together. It's a really easy way to give it a border and a frame. You're gonna use a flat brush. Why is it called a flat brush? Because it looks like somebody just smashed the brush, right? Made it flat. Since this is a large area, we're gonna use this brush. So put a little water in your red, your yellow, and your blue. And if your yellow has some green in it like mine, just clean it up a little bit. We're gonna start with blue. Get a ton of blue paint on your brush. I'm just gonna, I like to test mine to see how dark it's gonna be. That's good. Paint a stripe, paint two stripes. Rinse your brush out in some water, then dip your brush in your red and make a red stripe, leaving a white stripe in between. And I'm just leaving a little white. Then I'm gonna slowly come up into my blue. So what do red and blue make? Purple. So my next color is the only one I haven't used out of my primary colors, it is yellow. So I'm gonna get my yellow, and just like I did before, I'm gonna leave white in between the yellow and the blue, and I'm gonna paint a yellow stripe. And then I'm gonna come up into my red. And what color do I get? Orange. What I wanna do is create the reflection of the ocean. So I'm gonna just start again in the opposite order. So I'm gonna start with yellow instead of ending with yellow. Start with yellow. Paint a stripe of red, and I'm gonna slowly move my red up into the yellow. So you're just overlapping it. Grab your blue and paint it in the bottom. And then just like we did before, slowly move it up into your red. And I'm overlapping, I'm trying not to scrub it, and I'm just painting the same direction across the sky. After you do this, you're just gonna let it dry. So, I don't know, five to 10 minutes, and then you're gonna do the next step. So once it's dry, you can start the next step. To see if it's dry, don't touch it, because you could pull up some paint. Just look and see if it's shiny. If it's not shiny, then it's probably dry. There's a lot of different sunsets, so you can't really do this wrong. You can put a sun in there if you would like. So to put a sun in, just get a smaller brush, get it kind of wet, and you just kind of pick up the paint. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna scrub through your paper, but you can take a paper towel and just blot it. So there you have your sun. Now you gotta decide where you want the sunsets to be. Do you want some land down here? I'm gonna put like a little beach down here and I'm just gonna color this all in black. Now I'm gonna bring um, maybe like an island or something out into here. Okay, now I'm gonna put my two palm trees in there. I'm just putting two in because I want to. I mean, you can put more in if you would like. So I'm gonna have one coming up here, and then I'm gonna have another one coming out this way. So palm trees usually, I'm not an expert, but they get a little thicker towards the base. And then I'm gonna fill this in. Now to make the palm trees, you can do it in a few different ways. I'll do this one first. You're gonna make spider legs. I don't want to cover up my sun, so I'm kind of being strategic. They get a little smaller towards the base. Now once you've drawn those on, you can go ahead and put the rest of the palm leaves on and you just can make little lines or hairs coming down from the palm trees. Make them a little thicker up towards the spider leg. Put some in there. Sorry, I didn't realize that was like going off of the camera. I had some students put some boats in here. If you wanted to get your paintbrush and you could make some highlights in the ocean right here. Just getting my paintbrush wet and then I'm kind of squeezing out some of the water. You could make those come all the way to the bottom if you wanted to. Last step is to take your tape off. Okay, and there we have our sunset. So I hope you like this tutorial. Have fun painting with watercolors. They're great, they're cheap, 
Um, and you can do a lot of really fun things with them. Don't think you have to stick with the palm trees either. You can do whatever silhouette you want. You can do a cityscape, a person standing there, um, doing a yoga pose, whatever you want, whatever you're into, you can make a silhouette of it somehow and put it in front of your sunset. Keep watching our tutorials. We love also hearing comments from you in the section below where you're from and also different art things that you like to do. So have a great day and I will hopefully see you soon on YouTube.